Good morning family, friends and followers and welcome to the fourth day of spring. As you can see, uh, it's a little bit overcast and we are officially into spring in Australia, but the first couple of days were beautiful weather, absolutely beautiful weather and it has been raining for, well yesterday, uh, not so much today, but we're expecting a bit of rain. But here where we're located, we do get spring rains. As some of you are aware, if you've been watching our last videos, we've been installing our orchard and we've got our trees in. Now we're just getting the fencing around the tree. So we've been putting in some uh, posts in readiness for the uh, wire that we've got to put here. We do have kangaroos here. So at the moment, they're not coming into this area to eat because there's enough uh, greenery around. So yeah, they're not coming in at the moment, but they will, uh, <laughs> yeah so they're uh sorry <laughs> my child is dancing on the other side of the camera so they're not coming into here to eat our trees but they soon will be and uh we just need to protect them from that so we'll show you what we've been doing and just a note what am i sitting beside I'm sitting beside uh, an IBC and we've been filling this up with water to water the orchard. Eventually we're going to put in a drip irrigation system. Uh, we do have obviously, I don't know if I'm pointing in the right direction, our tank down there but it's a long way to pump the water up here at the moment through a hose and it's taking forever. So we just fill this up and uh, we water from that. We will be putting uh, another tank in. Uh, we need all the water we can get. It's very dry, obviously, in Australia. So let's go and uh, show you what we've been doing with the posts. As you can see, we're coming into spring, and a lot of the flower, uh, a lot of the trees are are starting to. A lemon tree doesn't look too great. Um, a lot of the trees are starting to get their buds. As you can see, these are the the plums, which are doing fantastic, but. I digress. Let's have a look at the at the posts. You good? So down the bottom there, we've just hit this layer of um, a really uh, strong clay and you can see that the cutting head is just skimming across the top and it can't get a, a grip on there. So we have to stop and just break it up with the, with the crowbar to give the teeth a bit of a chance. You can just see, it's not like it's real tough, but it goes smooth and then it, then it repels any, any effort by the teeth to get in there.
one does not want to go down. Beauty new. We've got the mixer going. So uh, this one's been laying down in the back paddock for a little while. I wasn't sure it was going to go, but uh, brought it down, pumped up the tyres, did the spray with some good old fashioned RP7, plugged her in and flicked the switch, and off she goes. Fantastic. Those people counting, looking at the ratio. Um, in the trailer, I've got a mix of sand and gravel, and I'm doing a ratio of uh, four to one. Uh, it's, it's a little higher than what's recommended, but um, I'm just trying to make sure that it uh, gets a, a good, strong uh, bulb of concrete around it. And um, this ground is very clayey, so it does get a lot of water through it. So uh, I want it to be fairly strong. What we've done here is we've uh, dug the holes, which you uh, have seen or will see. I'm not sure where I'm going to put that. We've dug the hole 600 mil deep, which is two feet. We have then put the poles in and we've leveled these out. And then we've put the braces on just to make sure that they stay in the right spot. And then we've filled them with concrete. So they will actually support the tension of the wires that we're going to be putting in.